Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Sevierville, Tennessee and we're very excited to be joined by the Virginia Fun Seekers. We're also very excited to be taking you guys along with us too. Arches Barbecue. Arches Barbecue. Arches Barbecue. What type of wood are y'all smoking? We use hickory only. This beautiful machine is from the 70s. They call it Old Faithful because this one refuses to quit. So there's indoor seating as well as outdoor seating here. So today it's a little rainy, a little cool. So we opted for the indoor seating. And here is the indoor dining room, as you'll see here. They also have some t shirts. So here is a quick look at the menu. They have rib plates, barbecue sandwiches, barbecue plates, specialties. Over here on Friday and Saturdays, they do have an exclusive menu that is available just for those two days. And over here to the left, you can see they have a wide variety of side dishes. They have kids meals, desserts, just banana pudding, and a brookie. They also have homemade sauces that you can see there to the right. We'll sample a few of those here today. And if you're looking to feed a large group of people, you can see there to the left, there are large portions also available. And everything is gluten and MSG free. Food just came out here, and Cindy, what did you end up getting there? I got the pulled barbecue pork and the smoked mac and cheese. And Brent, I cannot wait to try this. There's a place uh, near where we live that has the best smoked mac and cheese. So they've got some really stiff competition, but I hear it's excellent here. And it looks delicious. David, what did you get? I ended up ordering the barbecue sandwich I got the large and this is what it looks like you can tell mine does have more meat than what Cindy's has on hers and I got me a side of beans and I love beans so they really look good I can see some onions in it some peppers can't wait to try them looks great and Carly I got the ribs with the side of mac and cheese and on the way up here, I wanted, to, I wanted to get mac and cheese but mom and dad said it will be very different from what I'm used to so that's why I got a side of it, and I tried a little bit of it. It's perfect. Excellent. That's <laughs> great to hear. He should have got a double thing of mac and cheese, garlic. <laughs> and Jennifer, what did you end up getting there? I got the pulled chicken plate, and it comes on toast. And then it comes with two sides, so I got collard greens and the sweet potato chips. All right, and Gentry. BBQ with mac and cheese. All right. And I guess uh, Henry and I are fasting today, so we're gonna... <laughs> Some of the sauces that they have, they have a holy jalapeno, which is very interesting. Right here they have a Memphis, it's got Elvis Presley on the front. Here you've got Kansas City, it's got the Kansas City Chiefs logo on the front as well. Right here you have the North Carolina Mustard. Right here is the Moonshine barbecue and there's a picture of popcorn sutton on the front and right here is the original of course we are in Sevierville home of Dolly Parton herself with Dolly Parton on the front all right Henry what'd you end up getting down there I ended up getting the Captain Almond's Barbecue Sunday, which has barbecue baked beans at the bottom, pork barbecue, and it had the option between potato salad or coleslaw. I opted for the potato salad there. It looks more like a mayonnaise-based potato salad. And then it came with a couple slices of garlic bread. All right, Cindy, what do you think about your meal so far? I really like the barbecue. It's got a great taste. It's obvious that they know what they're doing. I know they've won competitions and stuff and um, it's supposed to be one of the best barbecues in the state of Tennessee. I think it's in the top 25. Um, so the barbecue is good. The sauces, I liked the Holy Jalapeno and the original, they were my two favorite. Mac and cheese, I'm a little disappointed on because one, it's not hot. And um, two, it doesn't have a really strong smoke flavor to it. It's okay, but I've had better smoked mac and cheese. And David. Well, I really enjoyed my barbecue. The meat tastes real good. And out of the sauces I've tried so far, I like the original. That's been my favorite. I'm and with the, you on that. The, the beans, 
I really do enjoy those. They've been delicious. Just wish they had a little bit more of them. They're kind of a small side, poor side of beans. It's a little, little helping of them. I wish it would have been more. All right, and Carly. My mac and cheese was delicious. It, in my opinion, it had very unique flavor, even though it wasn't coming out hot. In my opinion, that was good because usually when I have to eat stuff, like the temperature of it is like usually hot and I have to wait for it to cool down some. So it being cold actually let me eat it faster than <laughs> usual. And it had a unique flavor to it. It, it had a spice after, um, not like the regular mac and cheese, which made it very unique too. And then my ribs, I don't usually like stuff like that, but the ribs were delicious, even though it had like a burn, like, even though it had like a hot flavor to it after. And Gentry, what did you think about your meal, buddy? My mac and cheese is really cheesy, and the barbecue is just an excellent spice. All right, and Jennifer. This is so good. The chicken has the the best smoke flavor, and then the rub that they use on it is really tasty as well. The collard greens, they have a little tiny bit of a kick, and they're really tender, really, really good. And the sweet potato chips, excellent. Awesome. All right, so here's just three of the sauces. Over here to the left, we've got the Kansas City, we've got the Carolina Gold, or also known as Carolina Mustard, and right here is the Moonshine. Something that I found to be interesting is the Kansas City had a little bit of a kick to it. Typically, when you have Kansas City barbecue, it's that really sweet, like if you go, a really sweet sauce. Like if you go to Joe's in Kansas City, their barbecue is some of the sweetest barbecue we've had. Uh, but there is a slight kick at the, it's not bad by any means, but there is a slight kick at the very end of that. So I found that to be interesting. The red was good. The red was good. Okay, what was your favorite? The brisket. All right. Final receipt here came to a grand total before tip of $54.32. And as you can see, there is a local discount that got us almost $10 off here for showing our Tennessee IDs. Not too bad. Archer's Barbecue is located right here on Winfield Dunn Parkway. And you may be very familiar with the area that it's in as I'm sure you have all seen a time or two this yellow helicopter that is right down here on the parkway where they have the helicopter rides. You can't miss it if you've ever been on Winfield Dunn Parkway. It's just almost catty corner to the scenic helicopter rides. That was Archer's Barbecue. Cindy, what did you think about Archer's Barbecue? I thought it was awesome. I really like the barbecue. I like the flavor and I enjoyed trying the different sauces. Excellent. Carly. My food was great. All right. And David. My food was real good. I enjoyed the, the barbecue and the side of baked beans were delicious. The only thing I negative I say was the price. I thought it was a little bit pricey for the, the amount of sides that you did get. You know, I thought it could have should have got a little bit more for the price you paid. But other than that, everything was delicious. Right. And Henry, what'd you think about the food, buddy? It was good. I like the brisket and the bread. I want to point the macaroni was good. All right. And Gentry. My food was excellent and you should definitely come here. And Jennifer. I agree. It was really, really good barbecue. The pulled chicken was seasoned perfectly, spoke perfectly, was moist. Um, the collard greens had a little bit of a kick and I really enjoyed that. It wasn't like too overpowering. And the sweet potato chips are really good here as well. Uh, also sweet tea alert, the sweet tea's great here. And the sauces, it was, I agree with Cindy, that was a really fun thing to try. And I will say when it comes to my meal, it was a very unique dish to say the least. If you are someone who doesn't like your food touching, it's probably not for you. But if you are okay with all your food blending together, it was an excellent dish. On the website, they did have some garlic bread that was displayed in the picture here. It was just regular toast. So that was kind of off to me because I was looking forward to that nice garlic bread, but still a very delicious meal all in all. 
Yeah, and we had a great time with the Virginia Fun Seekers, and we cannot wait to, to meet them again and see them again. Great time talking with them. And if you're not already familiar with their channel, we're going to place a link in the description below so you can go and check out their channel. We have been watching their videos for a very long time, fans of their channel, and then fans of them now that we've had a chance to meet them. Just some incredibly awesome people, and uh, we are so glad to finally meet them here in person today. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us here in Sevierville, Tennessee at Archer's Barbecue. And we sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Everyday is Saturday!